Water, what a wonderful gift from God. It certainly has many uses. We use it in our homes as we consume water. We use it for cleaning, for cooking, for washing, for brushing our teeth, for bathing. We use it in agriculture, water used to irrigate plants, to help in the yield of crops and fruits, flowers and vegetables. Water is used in industry for washing, cooling, processing, diluting, fabricating a product. So many uses of water. Water in the life of a Christian is so important as it is used in that foundational sacrament, baptism, to wash away original sin and any other sin from the person's soul, to incorporate us into the body of Christ, water to refresh our souls so that we can grow as disciples of the Lord Jesus. Hi, I'm Father Rosman. I'm the pastor here at St. Joseph's Parish in Mechanicsburg. And as part of our parish transformation process, we have developed a pathway to help you in the preparations for your child's baptism. And I want to take a few moments now to describe what that pathway is. And so as we begin, let's go into the church. I'm standing here in the narthex of our church, the place where we welcome your child and you, your godparents, and those who have gathered for the baptism into the church. And as you know, baptism is the first sacrament that your child will receive. It will be the start of something wonderful in the life of your child and any other children God blesses you with. And so what we want to do is make this process to prepare for this day as meaningful as possible for you so that your child will know that this is the first important step in their life as a newborn child of God. In fact, wouldn't it be wonderful if every child remembered not only the date of their birthday, but the date of their baptism. And so you might want to keep that in mind as your child grows and in some way observe those two very important events in their life. We all know that life gets really, really busy, but we truly believe that no life should be so busy that we don't make that necessary time for God each day. Not only yourselves as parents, but most especially your children should learn what it means to give God time every day. And we really feel it's a blessing for us to assist you in that journey, that lifelong journey of encountering God. A journey that again will begin with your child at baptism. Parents often share that they have dreams for their children. And many times those dreams are that they would follow in your footsteps, perhaps as a teacher or as an emergency medical person, or perhaps as a lawyer, as a doctor, as a counselor, whatever it might be. There are people who have dreams of their children excelling in sports or music, or another type of hobby or talent. Yes, we all have dreams in our lives, and you have dreams not only for yourselves, but for your children as well. And as the spiritual father of this parish, all of you are part
part of this community of faith. And I too have dreams, not only for myself, but for each and every one of you as a member of our faith community. My ultimate dream is that we all meet someday in heaven. In fact, all that we do here at St. Joseph's is for the salvation of souls. That's our most important work. That is the reason why we are here for the salvation of souls. In our bulletin every week on the front cover, we have our parish mission statement. This expresses our desire to help you be the disciple that Jesus is calling you to be. That mission statement is this. Like our patron, St. Joseph, the husband of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we are called to foster the presence of Christ in all that we say and do. Our mission is to grow disciples for the Lord Jesus. And baptism again is the beginning of that lifelong journey. In addition to our mission statement, our parish advisory council has developed a vision statement for our parish. And all of this information can be found on our parish website. In our vision statement, there are five key words to help us live out our vision. And those words are worship, grow, serve, connect, and give. Easy to remember. Worship, grow, serve, connect, and give. I ask you to take a look at our website, and there you will find more information on our understanding of how the Lord is calling us to live out our mission and our vision here at St. Joseph's as we are all Roman Catholic disciples of our Savior. Part of what the Holy Spirit continues to show us and this path of parish transformation that we are on is our need, our desire, our commitment to help you not only to meet the Lord Jesus, but to know and to understand and to live out the promises that we all make at baptism. And now as parents, you who have the privilege of receiving the gift of new life from God in the child that you have, that you are blessed with, as parents, we want to help you fully embrace the promises that you will be making for your child when you bring them to the waters of baptism. Underlying all of this is our sincere hope that you become engaged in your faith here at St. Joseph's. We want you to feel that you are an important part of our family that you really belong to this wonderful community of faith. And then as your family has that sense of belonging, we wanna help you to continue to grow in your beliefs and in the behaviors of what it means to be a Catholic in today's world. It's safe to say that too many Catholics these days simply jump through the hoops of the process that is meant to assist them in becoming active, engaged, intentional disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ. And too many approach their faith as if it is a checklist. Baptism, check, and then a few years go by. Okay, First Holy Communion, done, check that off the list. And then confirmation, finally, and then it all comes to a screeching halt in your child's journey. Unfortunately, what we see here at the parish and elsewhere is that a higher percentage of confirmed Catholics are leaving our Catholic faith. They're not continuing their commitment to worship, to service, to growth, to making connections, to giving towards the mission of the church. And so this process that you are about to begin 
which involves a wonderful opportunity for you to realize that you belong here at St. Joseph's with the help of our baptism mentor couples, with the guidance of our family ministries coordinator, and with an opportunity to communicate directly with the priest or the deacon who will conduct the baptism ceremony, this process is here in place now to help you and your family on the way to heaven. Hi, my name is Becky, and I'm so excited to walk with you on this journey of baptism preparation for your child. You can see a full explanation of the steps to the pathway listed on our website. It all starts with an email, a phone call, or filling out the inquiry form on the baptism page on our website. I invite you to take full advantage of every step of the process, and I look forward to walking with you on a journey that will draw you closer to the Lord and his Catholic Church. And so we are really excited to meet you, to meet your child, and to assist you in bringing your child into the body of Christ through baptism here at the baptismal font. And what will happen during that sacrament is that their sins will be washed away. They will become a newborn child of God. They would become a member of the church and with God's grace in their heart, they will begin this most exciting adventure, this journey as a disciple of the Lord Jesus. And we promise to be with you as you raise your child in the faith. We look forward to this adventure and I hope that you do too.